A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. It is the first Tuesday of the month, which as always means that we get a new rotation of free assets from Epic on the Epic Marketplace. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with where where you can get these assets, all you need to do is you go to your marketplace section and then go to the free tab and then free for the month and these are the assets that you should be presented with. This month we are getting the Opera House Kit, the MAE Oak Forest Kit, the Modern House, the Vaulted Multiplayer Vaulting System and Art of Shader Film and Special Effects. So let's take a look at what these contain. First out, we have this beautiful Opera House set. Uh, this is a kit bash set made of assets designed in a realistic way that allows you to use it for presentation, films, game, and create custom levels based on it. Includes a demo level that represents assets in the best way, and the pack contains modules, props and pieces, PBR materials, and instances. Um, its features are realistic quality, a number of not modular meshes, a realistic demonstration level, uh, which is the one we're looking at currently, and the material instances for further uh, customization on the actual materials themselves, and stage props. There's an estimated 88 uh, unique meshes in this asset pack, and taking a little bit of a closer look to what we have around here, here you can see the seating and the different balconies. And the pianos and also some of the backstage area here as well it's a very nice uh, high de highly detailed and realistic uh, asset pack next up we have the mae oak forest pack uh, this pack is um, consisting of high quality scanned meshes uh, packaged made with photogrammetry and photometric foliage techniques uh, it says that it's optimized and all the meshes have a minimum of three level of details and billboards. Uh, it claims that there's a high density forest with good optimization and have a few benchmark uh, f frame rates for different settings for it that are ranging between 90 and uh, 180 depending on the setting. and. Uh, if you're running it in editor or standalone. Um, this is what it looks like and if we were to uh, just go out you can see that this is the landscape that we have around here and you can see that it's pretty aggressive with its uh, levels of details when it comes to a bit of range. Uh, so we have a lot of popping in and out and this is also visible uh, through the grass. So that might be one of the reasons why the performance is so high, so I don't really know how it would perform if you were to um, allow the levels of distance to uh, show for a bit further. But regardless of that, it looks like a very nice set of assets uh, in regards to foliage and trees. Uh, there is an approximate of 40 to 50 meshes available in this pack. The pack itself uh, might not look very different from uh, any other of the forest packs that we've had in the past, but uh, variety is always good. Having multiple different sources and being able to mix and match uh, is really good as well. Uh, as well as that, it could be good to have this scene to use as a sort of a benchmark to see like uh, with a lot of foliage like this, how can you achieve this amount of frame rate? What do you need to do when it comes to the culling and stuff like that as well? So uh, interesting project to look at if, if uh, you have a lot of uh, trees and foliage and you're having some performance problems, you might see the, uh, some of the tips and tricks that they have done in this one to make it run at the performance that they do. Next up we have the Modern House Pack. Uh, this is a high quality modern two-story house with exterior and an interior, completely furnished with over 100 objects. Uh, it has a complete scene which we're currently looking at, which includes 11 rooms uh, with setup lighting and uh, it consists of a living room, kitchen, two bedrooms. We'll just go in and check that, but it, essentially it's about uh, 100 different uh, objects that this scene is consisting of. 
and we can even interact with the doors they have been blueprinted to allow for interactions we can see that here we have a living room with a dining area and a kitchen and some other small closets and rooms available here with some furnishings we can also go upstairs and open up to the bedroom for example and here you can see some of the small details so you can see that all of the meshes are uh, of very high quality could easily be used for um, uh, architectural visualization archeries uh, and such as well which may be what it is in initially intended for as well uh, so if you want this kind of style for your game this will be a great pack i think Next up we have Art of Shader, Film and Special Effects. Art of Shader um, is a pack of a large variety of different post-process effects uh, and blendable materials that you can make use of. So if you have ever wanted to create some specific uh, post-process effect, uh, there's a large or a pretty good chance that it's available in this one, or if not, maybe you can take a look at one of the different post-process here uh, to tweak it to whatever needs that you're after. Um, it consists of, I think, 46 different post-processes, and it looks like this. So when running in front of one of these post-processes or into one of these volumes, one exists in front of each of these different uh, cubicles or areas. You also have the ability here to uh, interact with the, the settings by dragging the different uh, parameters that they have exposed for the different effects as well if you wanted to to see what kind of effect you you can uh, achieve so you have configurability or uh, ability to tune this to your own needs as well so each of these consists of just a few different objects here so they are of different colors so that you can get an easy uh, perception of how it would look like uh, given some different uh, uh, colorizations and, and objects and such things. So I will just be running through this uh, scene while talking a little bit about the asset pack and you can see the different uh, post processes in action uh, in the meantime. So uh, Art of the Shader it, like it's said earlier is a film and special effects uh, pack it is offering a set of advanced post process uh, blendable materials offering a range of high quality film inspired post process effects uh, that can be applied to your scene to give it a cinematic look and feel um, with blueprint actors that make it easy to combine blend and group materials based on common properties you can quickly create the perfect look look for your scene it says so, like I just showed you earlier, and like it says here, uh, each effect is highly customizable, allowing to tweak settings and parameters to achieve the perfect look and feel for your game or project, uh, whether you're working on film, a video game, or any type of digital project. Uh, film and special effects is a powerful and versatile asset pack that can help you take your visuals to the next level. And like you have seen uh, along this journey, the variation of the different post processes are large so for sure there will be something here that you can uh, find use for for your different projects or games or whatever you might be working on in unreal uh, it's actually quite a quite an impressive collection in my opinion and we are just about to reach the end of all the different post processes i think this is the second to last one i believe yeah so we're ending with a vignette so that's this asset pack. Last out we have Vaulted, which is a plugin created by Drowning Dragons, which we have actually had covered in uh, a previous Free for the Month uh, series. Uh, this creator is also the one that's behind the asset called Move It. And these are also made to work uh, with each other. Uh, Vaulted is a plugin that's uh, made for and covers the ability to have vaulting uh, of varying heights uh, and have it also work in multiplayer during poor networking conditions. So 
here we can see a lot of examples of different like objects that we could traverse by vaulting. Um, uh, they are. Um, it, it's essentially a set of uh, tricks and techniques using uh, animations, dynamic animation, motion warping, uh, and together that allows this. Uh, character to jump on a dyna dynamic range of uh, of heights uh, so you okay that one i can't reach so you can see that they do slightly different animations depending on which height you're interacting with and such so it's it's allowing for a few different animations depending on the circumstances um i i feel like it seems like drowning dragons have a lot of very positive reviews on both this asset and on move it and it feels like these projects or these plugins are really really good but i haven't myself had the, the hands-on experience with them to to try them out to see actually how good or bad they are uh, but based on the reviews it seems like they are pretty good and it feels like the presentation is what's making these assets suffer a little bit because it feels a little bit like i don't know some details around both move it and this vault it seems a little bit unpolished which feels like a shame uh, if it is as good as it seems to be but anyway i digress sorry for the tangent um this plugin is uh, like I said, made for multiplayer to have it as a um, consistent way of being able to, to have vaulting. It will um, handle uh, the replication for you. It will handle uh, desyncing. Uh, it's highly optimized. Um, it has a plethora of features and bits and bobs you can uh, tweak to get the, the feel that you want. Uh, in the plugin it exists as a vaulting component uh, on a character um, so i do believe that you need to use the the vaulted character uh, to make use of this um, because of how it's created it, it's making use of gameplay ability system uh, even though you don't really have to uh, delve in and understand much of that uh, it's just making use of that functionality um, the asset itself has uh, a bunch of different uh, technical videos, uh, tutorials and documentation and such. So if this is something of interest for you, uh, I'm sure that you'll find enough information there to take it to the level that you need to your project. Uh, overall, I feel like this is a very interesting uh, project and I just feel like it's a shame that it didn't have a like flashier more polished uh, demonstration of its capabilities so that it gets the, the attention it probably deserved before it actually went uh, free for the month anyway that's going to be all for this time uh, keep on learning take care hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.